This is a simple lap joint, 80 thousandths, 2 millimeter thick, 304L stainless. I decided to use a number 10 clear cup because I think it's going to give us a better arc shot, as well as some good argon shielding. And I'll be able to use a fairly long stick out with about 25 to 30 CFH. I want to get a puddle going within about two seconds and get moving. I'm trying to use a normal travel speed here. I'm not trying to fly, but I'm also moving out to kind of outrun the heat because that is something that I feel like is important on stainless steel. If you hang around using a low amperage going really slow, you can build up heat and you can't outrun it. Here's some of the benefits of running a clear cup here too. Sometimes you can actually look through the cup. But I'm going along at a fairly average travel speed at 77 amps. I'm not flying along, but I'm not creeping along either, and I feel like it's a normal travel speed. I'm adding filler rod just a little bit more frequently than once a second, and I'm traveling roughly 332nd of an inch each time in between dabs of filler wire. As I get to the end, I taper amperage and back into the weld so I don't leave a crater eye and I don't melt the end away. I'm using a longer than normal stick out here just to get the, the cup out of the way of the camera. Okay, here are all the details and settings. All right, now let's do a T-joint, same thickness. Same cup, same settings, just a little bit more amps. One of the first tips on stainless steel is get your puddle established and get moving quickly. Within three seconds, if possible, two seconds is even better. If you don't, if you try to build up heat slowly, and hang around for several seconds, heat can build up because stainless is not very thermally conductive. Once heat builds up, it's very hard to outrun it. This is 80 thousandths thick material. I'm at 85 amps full pedal. I'm using a clear Jazzy 10 cup with about 25 CFH argon flow. You'll notice I'm adding rod or I'm dabbing rod a little more frequently than once per second. Since I don't want to melt through the back side at all, I'm adding rod very frequently. I'm not moving out very far with the electrode before adding rod. And to me, that's a key to not melting through. So here's a really good example of why I use gas lenses instead of the standard collet bodies that come with most TIG torches. This is a number eight standard collet body cup. I'm gonna use the same stick out and the same flow rate for all these welds. You can see that's less than ideal. It's a little bit gray, it's ropey. That's because there was oxides in the puddle. It wasn't shielding good. I don't do anything different. Same stick out, same argon flow rate with a number eight gas lens cup. The difference is tremendous right there. Now, if I take it a step further and put on the Jazzy 10 with the secondary diffusers, same flow rate, same stick out, I get even better results. That's why I don't typically use the standard collet bodies for stainless steel. If you have a 17 style torch and you're still using the standard collet bodies and not getting the results you want, the very first upgrade that I would recommend is our Weldmonger Stubby Gas Lens Kit. Here's why I think ours is the best one out there. The key component in a kit like this is the gas lens. We use Made in USA Furic gas lenses with an O-ring groove. So without the O-ring, they work great with the pink cups or just put an O-ring on and you can use Furic clear cups. Very easy to switch back and forth between the two. So not only can you shrink the size of your 17 style torch down to something more like a 9 or a 20, but you can also try a clear cup without having to buy a different adapter kit. If you already have a 9 or a 20 style torch, we've got kits for you. If you'd like to learn more about the kit that I showed at the beginning of this video, I'll add a link in the description that'll take you right to that page, or you can just go to weldmonger.com and click on TIG kits and you'll find it. It's a navigator kit. We've got it in both clear and ceramic versions both 17 style and 920 style torches. Thanks for your support. We'll see you next time.